I've come down to the beautiful Lust this Pancake Tuesday for a go at eating, tossing, baking, and racing with pancakes. Let's go see what's going on. It's a bake-off and pancake races for the villagers, for visitors to the village, and everyone in the local community, really, and also people who work here. It's very quiet in the village this time of year, and of course it rains a lot, so we thought it would brighten everything up, and just, it was slightly eccentric. We're now um, racing against Olney down in Buckinghamshire, and they've got 600, over 600 years experience of the pancake races. So I contacted them last year and they agreed that they would twin with us, which was a real coup. We were absolutely over the moon. They've only twinned with one place in America. So with that happening, um, we, start, we tried to run the only race last year, but it, it was a bit chaotic. So we missed out on that one. So that was our trial and this year we're for serious. <laughs> You've got to flip your pancake when you start the race and then also flip your pancake before you come across the finish line. But every now and again, we throw in a, a, like a softball and make them toss them halfway round. <laughs> I'm not very good at this judging. Great tasting, though. Now, the Bake Off, that's where we have some really good fun because the hotels all take part. And um, we start off with the Cordon Bleu No Holds Barred pancake, and that is really serious competition. Uh, that's where they can have three chefs this year to make one pancake, although I think they're making two. Um, and they're also baking against the ladies of the village who are doing their, their traditional pancakes. So that gets really serious, that one. It's been a very difficult job tasting all these delicious pancakes. I don't know if I can choose a winner. I might have to taste them again. Is. I think it's because it's so it's just slightly eccentric and everyone just realizes it's just good fun there's no whilst we say the serious competition it's just your old you know competitiveness creeping in but it's just in really good fun good humor <laughs> got on my hair <laughs> save some for later is that good well we're very lucky I mean at first we thought we might just get about 50 people but we've had a few hundred today at least a um, hundred of them school children. So it's growing and I think if we hold it next year, which we will do because we're out for the challenge, we will uh, have even more. <laughs>